Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to make a kinetic typography animation inside of Allied Motion using some simple techniques. This kind of animation looks really amazing when you want to give a dynamic look to your video. We will obviously see how to achieve this final typography animation but throughout this entire video we will also learn 3 to 4 simple animation techniques that will definitely improve your animation works. And yes, make sure to watch this video in full screen to get the perfect view. Ok, so right now I am in the Allied Motion application. I will start by writing a simple text. Now from the effects option, I will add the grid repeat effect. Using this effect, we can convert a single word into repeated words. Here by adjusting the values of x and y, you can get the desired result. Ok, so once we are done with this, extend the layer, then place a key at the end and move it on the left or right to animate it. So we will get a simple animation like this. Now at any point if you want to change the text you can do it from here and by adjusting the value of x you can create the similar effect. Make sure you do not change the value of y, you just have to change the value of x. Now I'll add a square shape and by using the edit shape option I can change the shape as I want. We are going to use this shape as a mask so select the layer, the shape layer Go to the blending option and select the mask option from here. So now if you look here, we got a pretty clean and simple animation here. Let me just remove all the keys from here and we will add a new key at 0 and 3 and animate the layer as we have done before. Once you are done with this, we will add a new effect, the pinch effect. This effect will bring a complete new look to your animation. So first we will add the keys at 0 second and then we will add the keys at 2 second. Now go back to 0 second and at this point decrease the value of x to 500 or 600. And at 2 second increase the value of x to something around 800 to 900. And then apply an animation curve to it similar to the one which I have used. As you can see the animation is very fast so let me just move the animation key to 3 second. I will do the same with other two options the strength and the radius option. For this particular animation we are using the center option only but yes you can obviously change the values of strength and radius to get some different result. Ok so now if you look we got a pretty decent animation. But the focus point or the center point of the pinch effect is not 
at the center of the text right so you can simply move your fingers around the screen to bring the focus point at the center like this so when you achieve this you can note down the value of y which is 183 the center y value is 183 we have to remember this value now since you have done some changes in the layer so a key is generated at this particular point which you don't really want so simply remove this key and come back to the zero second position at this point you have to increase the values of y to 183 because 183 is the center point we just saw right similarly at two second increase the value of y to 183 Now if you look carefully, you will see we got a pretty awesome animation. The pinch effect is running through the center of the layer and this looks really really amazing. Now make sure to apply the curve again because most probably it will not work anymore. So you have to apply it again. So we got this animation right. Now we have to create a reverse effect on this. So as the cube point was at 3, so the next key will be at 6 so you can say the animation will basically end at 6 so decrease the values of x then apply a animation curve in between these two and you are done Now you can see the text layer is not very clear towards the end. The sh rectangle shape which we have used is uh, cutting half of the text, the bottom text. So simply place it properly. And then you can definitely apply more effects to it the strength and the radius option you can play with those two options to get some different result so we learned how to convert a single word into repeated words we learned how to use the pinch effect and create a pretty cool kinetic typography animation so now let me just animate this layer once again as done before So if you look now, you've got a movement going on, you've got the pinch effect going on and you have the repeated words. So these are some pretty simple and clean animation techniques that you can apply on your animation works. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. I did a voiceover video after a long time. Let me know in the comment section how was this video and what next videos do you want to see. I will see you again in my next video. Till then stay safe and keep creating.